See, the Jehovah's False Witnesses do not even believe that Jesus died on the cross. They believe that he was, you know, dying on a torture stick. And, but, but this is not the things that they go around saying. They, they try to act like they're Christian, and they're not Christian at all. They don't, believe that, they don't believe that the saved go to heaven. They don't believe that the unsaved go to hell. They don't believe that Jesus died on the cross. They don't believe that he rose again. Here's their version of the resurrection. Oh, his spirit left his body. Okay, that's called death. That's not a resurrection. Because the Bible says, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead all. So if the, if the spirit left the body, that's death. That's not resurrection. But that's what they claim. Now, here's what they go to. And, and flip over, if you would. We're going to get a little out of order tonight so that I can finish covering this subject. Go to verse 50. Because verse 50 is the verse that the Jehovah's false witnesses will use in order to prove that Jesus did not bodily rise from the dead. They'll turn to this chapter. They'll ignore the part about the burial, but they'll jump forward to verse 50 where it says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood, and take note of those two words, flesh and blood. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. So what does the Bible say is not going to inherit the kingdom of God? Flesh and, blood. flesh and blood, right? Okay, go to Luke 24. Luke chapter 24. Because what they'll say is, well, you know, in this chapter about the resurrection, he says it is, and a few verses before that, it says that it is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. So what they say is that, you know, Jesus Christ, yeah, his physical body was buried in the tomb, but it was sown a natural body, it was raised a spiritual body, but basically they, they're, they're kind of just leaving off the body part and just saying like, it's just raised a spirit. Okay, because we know flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God and that it's raised a spiritual body. So their thought is, well, that means that his body did not rise. Just a spirit. His spirit came out of his body. Okay, and that's what they say. And that's how they twist that. Now, look, do you remember in Luke 24 and also in John 20? Well, let's just look at it. Look at Luke 24, verse 39. This is when Jesus appears to his disciples after the resurrection. Tell me if this sounds like a spirit or if this sounds like a body, okay? It says, behold my hand, we're in verse 39 of Luke 24. Behold my hands and my feet. Basically, behold means look at it. He's saying, behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, watch this, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as you see me to have. Now, let me ask you something. Was Jesus a spirit? Or was he a body? Now, but here's the thing. He was a spiritual body. You say, well, what does that mean? What's the difference between a natural body and a spiritual body? Well, what did the Bible tell us is not going to inherit the kingdom of God? Flesh and blood. Now, does this verse say that Jesus had flesh and blood? In verse 39. It says, Behold, my hands and my feet, that as I myself handle me, for a spirit hath not flesh and what? Now, is that different than flesh and blood? So look, the Jehovah's false witnesses are saying, see right here, flesh can't inherit the kingdom of God. Is that really true? No, flesh will inherit the kingdom of God, but not flesh and blood. Flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom of God, but will flesh and bones? He said he is flesh and bones. Now look, if Jesus Christ appeared unto the disciples and told them to handle him, that means that they physically put their hands on him. They put their finger in the holes in his hand. They put their hand into the side. They felt him. They handled him. They could tell that he was really physically there. Then they fed him and he ate and drank with them to prove that he was there in flesh and bone, that he was physically, bodily resurrected. So you confront the Jehovah's false witnesses with this, and here's what they'll say. Well, you know... No, it was just a spirit, a spirit that left the body. And then you say, well, well you know, how is he sitting there appearing to him? And so, well, he just borrowed a body to do that. <laughs> That's what they literally say. Ask him. That's what they'll tell you. Jehovah provided him with a body that he could use to go back and appear to the disciples. Now, here's what, but it wasn't the same body that he rose in. So, so here's what kind of a nonsense that this false cultic religion, the Jehovah's Witnesses, teaches. The Watchtower. You know, and if you ever get the little magazine with the cartoon, the little boy smiling with the big thing of apples, you know what I'm talking about. It's all put out by the Jehovah's False Witnesses. And, and look, here's what they're basically teaching. 
that, that God just did this big scam. He basically makes this body, punches a few holes in the hands and the side to make it appear as if it was the same body that was crucified. So that Jesus could go pretend that he's in the same body that he was crucified in, but he's really in some borrowed body? What in the world possesses people to believe this garbage? I mean, it's, it's bizarre, my friend. But look, it just showed the unsaved are blinded. The God of this world has blinded their minds of them that believe not. To, to cause them to believe such bizarre doctrine that even though Jesus showed up and showed them the holes in his hands and, and had them touch the holes, that wasn't really the holes that the nails made. I mean, where do you come up with this stuff? You can't, I mean, it's, it's very strange.